Okay, so this is my my home short sword. So the it's double edged. So yeah, it's about twenty one. Yeah, it's twenty one inches. The um the blade is twenty one inches, and then the handle is like maybe four. So the handle is wood. And I riveted it to the tang. You can probably see it. it's only a half tang. See, so I I just gorilla glued it on first, and then I riveted, and then I more or less kind of did the same with the handguard. It's just a cheap handguard because I'm I'm cheap. So yeah. So what I did for this one, I don't. I want to be able to actually like hammer them out, but this one was just for um, a stock removal. So I just, you know, it was a flat piece of steel this long. So I just cut out the tip and I cut out the um, tang. So, yeah. It's actually, it's, um, it's horribly balanced, like completely horribly balanced. So, yeah, but still very good. And it's, uh, it's double edged. So I have done a lot of work with this thing. I use it all the time outside from what, cause I always go out in the canyon to get wood. So I always use this more of a machete. So it's seen quite a lot of use and it's been sharpened and resharpened right here. Cause this is what I always use. Just this end part where my thumbs are. Um, yeah. And I just made the sheath recently. So what I did for the sheath is, you see the wood part? This is um, bamboo that I reversed. Same on both sides, and then the outside I actually put them on like. So you know how the bamboo is a circle? I put the circle part going like this on the outsides, but on the, but right here, it goes like this. And that makes it sort of tight, a tight fit, so it won't just fall out. So, and but it's also not hard to where I could just pull it out like that. So, also you see how my sword has the the um, the pommel sort of. It holds my hand back, and this is also what where this part is the longest. So to match that on the sheath, I put this little piece of string just kind of glued it. So it just it's always facing that direction. Now, when it does this. It fits better on my on my hip right here, just through the belt loop, and it fit it fits through better when it's um facing this way. So whenever, so it's just yeah, I always carry it like that. So you if you want, you can also put it in like this, and then put it on your left hip, but. It, it really is just personal preference. So what I did right here, I just wrapped the bamboo anyways in duct tape as you can tell. Right here I made it like a uh, thicker and then also right here I made it thicker so I can get my belt loop around this and fit into this cavity right here so it doesn't just fall off whenever I take the sword out. And then this here just kind of, it's more of just a grip. For my, to put on the belt loop. So yeah, and then I used a nail to rivet the thing, and then I put a washer there. I would use a smaller one, but I don't have a ridiculously small one. But yeah, so very simple, um, very effective, all that stuff. So just like my little knife I showed earlier, I sharpen it with this and also this does have that same worn look to it but it's worn but it does also have a very straight blade unless I bent it up a little bit but it's just surprisingly durable I thought I quite honestly thought this would break when I used it but oh boy it's been holding up very well but yeah, so that's more or less it. This 
I would do more work to it, it's just, um, I kind of don't have time, so, yeah, I don't think I could show a tutorial for this. This is the only piece of metal long enough I had, and this is only a short sword, so, yeah. But yeah, so, just very simple. Now, I'll show, I'm going to make a video on how to make a sheath for this, and I'm just going to do the exact same thing with this as I do for this one. So, yeah, that's how you can make the sheath. Just look for that video once I have it posted. So, yeah, goodbye.